Hello folks, we are Five Alive. I'm Martin. I'm here for our quick look at uh, Wrestling Future and talk about some of the stuff that just happened. Alright, so uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, which we have been watching a lot of, uh, just had their New Year's Dash show, which is uh, kind of their Raw after WrestleMania. They uh, have a bunch of matches as well as push the storylines for the future. A lot of crazy stuff happened, a lot of excellent matches. It is up for free on New Japan World. You do not have to have a subscription to watch it, so definitely go watch it. Uh, if only for uh, the handful of uh, matches with wrestlers that you know, so that you can be introduced to wrestlers who are awesome. Uh, they, they do a good mixing and matching of the Western guys and the Japanese guys, so you get a, a nice introduction. Uh, quick rundown of some of the stuff that happened. If, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there was a, a six-person match, uh, the Bullet Club versus... Uh, and. Uh, in afterwards, uh, Cody uh, attacked uh, Kota Ibushi, who he had faced the night before. Uh, after the match, he continued the attack, and uh, Kenny Omega came out and pulled him off, uh, leading towards the, which lo looks like it's leading towards the rift of the Bullet Club. Uh, hopefully, that's that's where they're leading towards, because that's going to be great. Bullet Club Civil War. Kenny then said he's tired of all the rifts in uh, Bullet Club. So he brought, uh, he wants to bring in a new member. That new member is Switchblade Jay White, who had just faced Tanahashi the night before in an excellent match. And uh, Jay White came out, uh, accepted the Bullet Club t-shirt, and then hit the Blade Runner on Kenny Omega, pulled the t-shirt off, and walked out. In the press conference afterwards, he says he has joined uh, the Chaos, uh, Chaos Squad, or whatever uh, <laughs> group, uh, which is made up of Okada, and Will Ospreay and a bunch of other awesome wrestlers. So, it uh, looks like uh, we're getting uh, some gang warfare on that. That'll be fun to watch. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also had uh, Suzuki. Uh, uh, looks like the next um, match for Tanahashi is going to be against uh, Minoru Suzuki. Uh, so, that should be uh, uh, an excellent series of matches. Suzuki is cra hits crazy, crazy hard. Tanahashi is just. He's the ace. There's a reason he's called that. It's it's not it's not selling. It's just he's just that damn good. Uh, then uh, at the end of the the night, uh, Los Ignormals Day in Japan. I totally screwed that name up, and I realized that. I apologize. I can't, just, I can't speak Spanish. <laughs> um, they're in the ring, and Chris Jericho came out and he attacked Naito. Uh, and it looks like he's. Jericho's sticking around, which means he won't be showing up for WrestleMania. Very, very interesting development there. And he is going on to uh, face Naito. Um, this was kind of laid out in the after press conference for Wrestle Kingdom 12, where Naito was complaining about the double main event, thinking that uh, the, the only main event should have been the championship match, his championship match with Okada. Uh, but... Uh, and it looks like, yeah, uh, that's that's what we're moving towards. So that should be a really, really excellent match. Um, some other stuff that's been going on. There's a lot of talk about the Mixed Match Challenge, which WWE is running with Facebook. They are uh, a series of live matches with male and female partners facing off against male and female partners, where you can watch it on Facebook and supposedly affect the teams or the outcome somehow. Um, it's it's all just a thing for Facebook. It's trying to get people to watch things on Facebook. And uh, personally, I think it's insanely dumb and I hate it. Uh, it's the lead up to WrestleMania. This is not a time you should be screwing around with things that could potentially hurt people who are going to be involved in WrestleMania. And especially doing it for Facebook Watch. This is the Facebook Watch is not the future. Uh, whatever. Regardless, I don't like it. Um, but it's a lot of a lot of uh, time is is being talked about it. I don't know. Uh, there's there's a lot of good stuff going on in WWE right now. This is not, in my personal opinion, one of the things. Uh, as far as what else is coming up this week uh, on the January 13th. Our local wrestling uh, promotion, Northeast Wrestling, has a show in uh, at the NEW Arena in Bethany, Connecticut. Uh, some of the highlights, there is a title match. Uh, the title holder is Flip Gordon, who, if you watch any of our wrestling uh, shows, you know of my and Bobby T's love.
for Flip Gordon. Uh, he's going to be facing off uh, against former WWE wrestler Joey Mercury, uh, who actually was just uh, just on the, the main roster a couple of years ago as Seth Rollins, uh, one of Seth Rollins' uh, bodyguards, which is hilarious because he's at least a foot shorter than Seth Rollins. But anyways, uh, <laughs> so that should be a really good match. Mercury's always been a very, very good worker. And then there's going to be a big over-the-top rumble. That's actually the name of the show, Over the Top. Uh, the Over the Top Rumble will include such luminaries as Glacier from the old WCW uh, Mortal Kombat ripoff, uh, Robbie E, formerly of TNA, uh, and uh, NWE stalwart Ron Zombie. Uh, NWE, uh, NEW, I'm sorry. NEW runs some really, really excellent shows, so if you're in the area, definitely check them out. Uh, we, uh, Bobby T and I uh, was, were able to take in a show up in Bristol. Uh, earlier in the year and, and really enjoyed it. It's actually where we were introduced to Flip Gordon. Uh, around the country, WWE is always running shows. Uh, some shows coming up for them uh, this uh, Sunday. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, in West Plains, Missouri. Uh, and uh, that's uh, also Mobile, Alabama. And then uh, Raw is going to be in Memphis this week. SmackDown is in Birmingham. So uh, if you're in those areas, definitely go out and check out WWE is in a really weird state right now. Some stuff's really good, some stuff's meh. But uh, anytime you can go see a, a live wrestling show, it, you're going to have a fun time. I, I, I don't see how you can. So, yeah, that's where we are in the state. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of burnt out from watching so much Japanese wrestling in the last week that I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch on SmackDown. But Raw is in Memphis, and Memphis is a good crowd, so should be a good show. And uh, just remember, folks, it's all run by carnies, so don't take it that seriously. Remember, like, share, subscribe. If you have any suggestions or things that we should be paying attention to, let us know in the comments below. Or contact us at martin.5livevp at gmail.com.